Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. Are you a regular user of Facebook, possibly driven by the need to communicate, stay in touch with friends, or simply enjoy the social media experience? Maybe yes or maybe no, but a new piece of research is proving to be some kind of a mind-altering revelation. It says that parents who join up aren't trying to imitate their children so much as to spy on them. It's perfectly well known that children could be trusted about as much as news stories touting a balanced provincial budget. So many parents feel forced to take the radical step of joining them so they can beat them in a psychological sense. Indeed, the study suggests that half of all parents sign up with Facebook, at least partially in order to see what drugs their kids are taking, who they're consorting with, and what they really think about, well, their parents. An excitable 43% of parents admit that they check their kids' Facebook pages every day. Some 92% of them make it so easy for themselves by openly becoming Facebook friends with their kids. Some might reach the inevitable conclusion that some parents, well, aren't very bright. If they're making it so obvious that they're snooping on their kids by befriending them, might not they imagine that their kids, in turn, will not express themselves fully on their Facebook page, instead choosing to go to some other relatively remote site? The education database online figures offer that about a third of kids would defriend their parents if they could. It's even more fascinating to consider how many adults are exposing themselves to their children. Surely the kids would take a look at these people's profile pictures and pray that they never, ever end up with the wizened and alcohol-sodden look of some of them appear in those photos. Given that the kids are far, far more tech-savvy than their parents will ever be, might they be better spies on their parents than the other way around? While the adults think they're being clever in following their kids, I suspect it's the kids who are getting more information out of the social networking exchange, information they'll choose to use just when they can use it the most. You know, blackmail never goes out of style. Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard.